right, before I bring on Joe, I need to tell you a couple quick more manifesto policies, my friends, which I feel I should. Uh, politicians have to. Who, politicians should have to wear tabards displaying the names and logos of the companies with whom they have a financial relationship. <laughs> That's quite a nice. One. Uh, whenever there's a Barney in the House of Commons, they should play the Benny Hill theme tune. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Windsor to be renamed Lower Slough. <laughs> the Daily Mail should be forced to print on the front of every edition the words, this is a fictionalised account of the news and any resemblance to the truth is entirely coincidental. <laughs> and possibly one of my favourites, which is to renationalise the railways. <laughs> I think we should just renationalise the railways. The railways privately run are so bad that I promise you I've stood on a delayed and packed platform in Clapham Junction in London and witnessed with my own eyes a grown man declare the words you bloody liar <laughs> to a tannoy system <laughs> you bloody liar why will you stop lying <laughs> London people, famously reserved, famously don't like getting involved, famously don't like public displays of emotion, that man got a round of applause from every single person on the platform. <laughs> With the exception of my wife, who genuinely did look quite embarrassed. <laughs> I want you to welcome up here our next performer. Please welcome up the very lovely Joe Lyson. Big round of applause, my friends. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, thank you. Uh, this is my voice. This is actually happening. Don't worry. Um, I'm not a homosexual. Oh, some of you laughed at that. Uh, I'm also a bisexual, uh, which means you're all at risk, essentially. Um, I love being bisexual. I tried to explain it to my parents. There's this sort of gay here, straight there, and then sort of bisexual people in the middle. And there was a lovely look on both of their faces where they're like, oh, God, we could both be targets. That was lovely. Um, <laughs> But it's confusing sexuality, and that is demonstrated by this amazing thing that I found. This is a college application form from America, and these are the sexual orientation options for you. Uh, there's bisexual at the top, which I'm happy about, then gay man, then gay woman slash lesbian, just in case you weren't sure what a gay woman is, <laughs> heterosexual slash straight, then other, which could be, I don't know, pizzas, that kind of thing. <laughs> Chinese, that's an option. <laughs> Chinese. Do do you come out as Chinese? <laughs> Mum, Dad, I'm Chinese. <laughs> we always knew you loved noodles. <laughs> Presumably so many people put Chinese in the other bit, they went, we've got to give it its own tick box, it's so popular. It's a billion of them. Um, but I, uh, I like to take on homophobes, I enjoy it. I was uh, driving through Birmingham recently. I'm from Birmingham, you'd never know, would you? I never had the accent, I was born better, but um, I... Uh... <laughs> I was driving through in my Ford Fiesta and I pulled up some traffic lights and this car of four sort of chubby lads pulled up alongside me and the driver went, batty boy, like that to me out of the window. And I don't know why he thought I was batty, but I turned down the Dolly Parton CD and adjusted my sarong and asked my boyfriend to stop wanking me off. And uh, I was going to say something, but the lights turned to green, so they sped off in a Toyota Yaris, absolute gangsters, in a... A cream Toyota Yaris, and uh, so I didn't have a chance to say anything. What they didn't realise is there were traffic lights a few hundred metres ahead and they were on red, so they're about to be presented with me again. I also spotted there was a telephone number on the back of the car and the car was for sale. So I just jotted the number down in my hands free, pulled up alongside and went, oh, fancy seeing you again. And they'd lost all confidence, just completely ignored me. I was like, maybe I should ring you on the telephone number on the back of the car. And the guy went, nah. The guy next to him, the guy next to him said, yeah, do it, it's his dad's telephone number. Right. <laughs> Just, just immediately changed loyalties, just like that. Just went with whoever's winning, like Man United fans. And um, I was uh, like, so I rang the dad, basically. I rang the dad. He went, hello. And I went, hello, this is Mr. Batty, just for fun. Um, hello, this is Mr. Batty. I'm interested in buying the cream Toyota Yaris. Does it include the four gorgeous men I saw inside? He's like, what? And I was like, yeah, I just saw it driving down the Stratford Road in Birmingham. He's like, he said he was in the library. Right? All of the lads went, whoa! And I was like, yeah, also, is it going to include a clean as well? Because I think he was kissing his boyfriend inside. <laughs> the dad went, I knew it. Uh, at that point, I went, whoa, just going mental. I was like, I'll buy the car, I'll, I'll ring you back, hung up. And he was so livid, it was beautiful to see. And I was like, yeah, I'm batty, what are you going to do about it? And he was like, oh, I'm going to bang you out. I was like, sounds fabulous. Um, this is lovely, uh, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I will have sex with Putin, if, if that's what it takes. Um, Thanks very much. Bye. Please keep doing this.
Joe Lyson. Yeah.